classes. Which platform I'm on? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to today's video. Sorry that I look super oily and gross. It's because it's really hot today. Just got ready and I'm about to head out to hang out with some new friends that I met through tattooing. So super excited about that. I'll try to vlog as much as I can, but I guess no promises. I'll show you guys my outfit. This is what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing my new Chloe shirt with my gray skirt and Converse. I really contemplated wearing these instead. I think they look way cuter with this outfit, but I'm gonna be walking all day in the city, so. And of course, I'm wearing my Uniqlo bag. I feel like this is both functional and aesthetic. I feel like it's like an accessory to all of my outfits. to my very messy kitchen. It's only 10 a.m. right now, so I'm gonna try to clean up around in here before I start cooking breakfast uh, or brunch. I don't know. Basically, going to disinfect this with, I don't know what this is called, but it's like kind of alcohol, but not. It's like a variant of alcohol. Anyways, it's really good at disinfecting. I'd be inhaling this shit every day. Usually, I would leave this for at least a minute, but I'm really impatient today, so I'm just going to clean it up. Yeah, it's really good because it just cuts all the grease. I use a lot of oil when I cook, so a lot of splatter. This also dries really quickly, so I kind of have to do it a few times, but I don't mind. Just don't breathe it in. This one is vanilla scented though, so it's really hard not to like smell it. My least favorite part of cleaning my kitchen are these, but also, do you guys like my little onion plant? I actually revived this. It was like wilting away in my fridge because I forgot about it but I put it in water until it's thriving again and so I've just been taking little clippings every other day or so and then it just grows back like this the only thing is that you have to kind of change the water every day and like peel off any of the rotten layer otherwise it stinks really badly like if you see this part 
like that bit is rotting. I usually peel that away every couple of days, but as long as you change your water every day, it's actually pretty good. I'll show you the harvest at the moment. This is how much we've harvested so far. It's been almost a week, but we have this little one. I'm not feeding you guys. It is wasteful to use like disposable paper towels, but because we are a multi pet household and my cats get on my counter all the time, this is the most hygienic way that I can clean my kitchen and make it safe for everybody. So please don't roast me in the kitchen. <laughs> in the kitchen, in the comment for using disposable towels, I use microfibers everywhere else in my house except for in my kitchen. So, started and I guess I'm not having breakfast but lunch instead. The rice is cooking and I think I'm gonna make some spam and egg in the meantime. That's what I've been craving for the last three days. couple of days just being on canva making myself a little media kit if you don't know what that is it basically explains like everything about me and my youtube channel as well as like any stats or data that's related to my my youtube if that makes sense sorry i'm like horrible at explaining things and yeah it's taken me so long to to make i am a adobe girly at heart. I've been using the Adobe Creative Suite for the last like decade of my life but in this economy I am not willing to pay $70 for like a monthly subscription when there's things like canvas that exists. It's been extremely painful to learn to be honest. Not that it's any of Canva's fault, it honestly is a skill issue for me. I should have adapted with the technology so entirely on me. Basically this is what it looks like. I have different tabs for different things like key stats, audience, content, services, and the little about me section. I'll show you the introduction. So in this top portion, I have, hello, my name, obviously, all my contacts, 
and then just about me sort of thing and which platform I'm on. Yeah, this was really painful because I made every single of these assets myself. If you can see, this is why for me it was so hard to relearn everything again. I'm just so used to Adobe. <laughs> My channel was called Computer Boy, so I wanted to do something like computer laptop related, but I really like the concept of this notebook I saw on Pinterest. So I did that and then added this little part. If you don't know what that is, it's basically this. <laughs> but obviously it's on the wrong side, but I don't care. It doesn't really matter. If you can't tell already, I am extremely new to this part of content creation. I've never worked with brands before until like a couple of months ago when my makeover, my desk makeover slash office makeover thing blew up a tiny little bit. I've been approached by a lot of brands, but I'm often very anxious about it, which means that I often like either one, too scared to reply or two, reply a bit too late and then I lose the opportunities. Not lose the opportunities, but I usually like freak myself out too much and then end up like not going through with the opportunities at all. For me, the most straightforward are like gifted collabs, which is in the name. One of my goals for this year is to take YouTube a lot more seriously and that would involve working with a lot more brands, which I have been trying to do but I kept scaring myself out of it and then I end up like I said ghosting them or replying a little too late which is really really bad I'm building really bad rapport for myself even before I started this should make it a lot less anxiety inducing for me hopefully all my stats are in here the brands can see it something about me is that I'm extremely scared to ask for help so I've been figuring all this out myself and it's it's probably taking like double the amount of time that it should should have taken me if I had just asked someone about it. But regardless, I've learned a lot of things and I feel like I'm stepping in the right direction. 